Oh, damn. What up, doe? What's up, everybody? It's your boy Killer. Goddamn, I'm finna, I'm finna answer my nigga Vic question since he the only nigga to ask me this shit. So, y'all fucked up for not asking me no questions. I know y'all want some questions or something. I know y'all want to know who I want to work with. Blase, blase. But, goddamn. Alright, Vic. Vic said, what motivates you to wake up every day to do what you do? What motivates you to constantly keep coming up with ideas? Honestly, I don't know. If I, like, hear something I like, I might fucking, you know, be in my head, fucking just doing some shit, coming up with a beat, and I get on FL, hop on that shit, do what I gotta do. It might, it, depending on how, if it, if it sound good in my head, like, fucking ten times out of ten, it's gonna sound good coming through the speakers or rapping on it, so... <clears throat> What motivate me? I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I just this music. I fucking love music. I've been making beats in like late 2006, going on 07. Yeah, basically, just, I don't know. I just, I like, I fucking love music here. Even when, like, what really turned me on to fucking doing music and all this shit, like, my daddy used to DJ, you know, going through his old shit, like, finding goddamn old CDs, fucking. Mo Thugs, when, back when Bone Thugs had their little record company or their little record, like, little label shit, Mo Thugs, they were the first CD I found. And goddamn, I started getting into the R&B shit. He had Key Sweat uh, CD, I got the name of it. I think it's um, Make It Last. He had the Make It Last CD. He had UGK CD. He had fucking Fiend, the old CD. There's one of their family, like, man. And he had a whole bunch of old shit. And it was just like, man. I like the way that shit sound, and then with the whole video game sample shit, like, what really turned me on to that when I was like 2000, I think it was like 2002, 2003, I think, I got the, the original Xbox, the big black ass fucking green and black, the big black ass box with a, a fucking green circle in the middle. I got this shit, and it came with Jet Set Radio, and got damn Sega GT. And I ain't too much fuck with Sega GT because I ain't too much of a big racing head. I don't like racing ass like like that no more. Like if it's like if it's like Need for Speed Underground, like them like or like Midnight Club, yeah, I, yeah, I play them. But like other than that shit, you know, I fucking started playing Jet Set Radio and I'm like, man, this, the graphics, I like them cell shade graphics and the fucking you know the graffiti and the music. Like the music had me like damn, cause it, like every chapter got is like every preset mix. I was like, damn, I like this shit, and then I just thought, I got FL, I think I had FL Studio sell my and I just started looking up video game soundtracks, and started sampling. When I first started out, my shit was, man, my fucking beats was fucking booty as hell, like, this shit, man, I wish I still had my old beats so I can, like, bump and be like, man, what the fuck this shit is, like, this shit was, that shit was disgusting, that shit was nasty, like, man, man, throughout the years, it was like, man, Shit started getting better. And then, fucking, at first I, like, my first mixtape, it was, it was more like an EP. I released, like, a couple years back, but it was all right. I had, first, the first tape I had ever dropped, and I ain't, I wasn't even rapping, I dropped a beat tape. It was a video game remix volume one. That was the first shit, the first tape I did. And then I started listening to my show, I'm like, damn, man. I started feeling that shit. I started rapping off this shit. I'm like, man, I just started... Start coming up with the shit. Hold on, hold on. Start feeling the shit and like, man. Fucking, I start feeling the shit. Yeah, I will, man. Like I said, and then I just went on from there. Me dropping Mystic South, and like that really would put me on the map with the help of Soldier Mook. Like Soldier Mook found me on YouTube. I really wasn't doing shit but making beats. I wasn't rapping off of him and none of that. And I started rapping off this shit. I'm like, damn, kill can spit. And after that, I just kept the ball rolling. Fucking, I dropped Video Game um, Remake Volume 2, Volume 1, and I dropped my first. I ain't gonna say my first, but it was just like a project mixtape just to see where the fuck I was. Like, I dropped the kill away. If y'all, if anybody got this shit, please delete this shit. This shit is, with the, with the exception of like two or three, three or four tracks on the inside, but like, other than that, man, this shit ain't, 
and shit. Came to my life. Yeah, then did them beat tapes. Dropped uh, Crypto Waves, a new side by EP. I just kept the ball on them, like, that's what that's what that's another thing to motivate me consistency. Like being consistent and shit. If you in this underground shit, whether if you underground or mainstream, especially if you marketing your own shit, like making your own beats, and you keep the shit consistent, you know, just keep the ball rolling. I'm a consistent type of nigga. I gotta keep releasing shit because I don't want my fans to be like, damn, this nigga killer. He on the high eighties. Where the fuck this nigga at? Like, man, we need some more shit. We need some more music. We need some more funk. We need some more fucking some. Some wave ass trap shit, whatever it is. Like, Cause I can damn near fall off anything. But I mean Yeah man, that's basically it man. It just I don't think I'ma ever stop saving video games because video games are part of my life. I grew up with shit. I used to make bad grades in school and that's I, I didn't give a fuck. I ain't too much give a fuck about grades until I started getting my head well. And damn my shit my mom started taking my shit to work with her if I can play it. So I just, I need to, I want to, I want to work with a lot of folks, like, as of now, I mean, yeah, as of now, I want to work with folks, it depends on who you are. If I don't know you, I'll give you a chance, but shit, there's a lot of shady motherfuckers around that they want, hey man, you get a free beat, man. I, I kind of stopped doing that. If I don't know you like that, and you ain't did me no favor, I don't know, bro. I ain't feeling, no, you finna have to, you finna have to show me the money or something, man, because I'm to the point where I'm, you know, I ain't a big top producer, but I mean, I'm a good ass. Hey, I'm a good ass producer, man. I ain't no beat maker. I'm a fucking producer. I ain't not. You don't gotta be no producer. You don't gotta be in the fucking corporate world in the music industry to be a producer. If your shit got fucking good quality and your shit, hey, yeah, I, I like that shit. Folks riding your shit like that. You got clout, dog. For real, you got, you got a lot of clout. Mm. Shit. Like I said, it's people out here I want to work with. It's people that still waiting on me to work with them. I ain't forgot about y'all. It's just a nigga fucking out here struggling, trying to make ends meet or whatever. But it's okay, because it's not going to fall through. I ain't even tripping. So, that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to work with y'all. I ain't forgot about y'all. Y'all might have thought I had, but I ain't. Shit. Like my nigga Otto Robo, like I'm working with my nigga Art. A lot of y'all sleep on him. I don't know why. I don't know why a lot of y'all sleep on him. Cause that nigga, he got some fucking Artie Robo conspiracy. And all the fucking mixtapes he put in work. I mean, shit, he put in a lot of, he put in more work than motherfuckers is almost there making it. And a lot of folks sleep on him. But it's okay, because the, the greatest gems get slept on. And they re, they end up servicing when everybody fucking just like, damn, who is this nigga? This nigga used to tag me in his shit, but I ain't used to bump him. People be like, they, you know what I'm saying? This nigga used to tag me in his shit. I ain't used to bump his shit. I ain't know who he was. Now he getting fucking goddamn put on. Everybody bumping him. Let me bump him. I mean, it shouldn't be like that. Give, give everybody a chance. I know I do shit. That's how I, I fucking, I try to market myself and put myself out there, you know. Because the more, the more tracks you they got on YouTube and SoundCloud and they say produced by me, DJ Killer C, Everybody gonna be like, damn, who is everybody? Who is this nigga DJ Killer C? Because everybody hopping on his beats. His beats must be hot. Like, market yourself, push yourself out there. That's one thing I respect about Artie Robo. He pushed himself out there. Everybody not, everybody might not vibe to his shit, but it's certain people that vibe to his shit more than others. So, it's a lot of, it's a lot of my niggas in, in the underground get slept on, man. It's a lot of them, and this shit ain't good. Shit is not good, but it is what it is, because it's all going to pay off. If you see him making music and think ain't nobody liking your shit or bumping your shit, and you think you failing because ain't nobody doing that shit, do you, man? This shit is gonna pay off. This shit is gonna pay off. Yeah, that's why I don't. I keep pushing. I see a lot of niggas getting five thousand, fucking six thousand plus views off fucking shit that don't really need too much sound good. I mean, shit. And, and I, everybody got their own opinion. Everybody got their own taste. Everybody human. Know, some shit don't sound good to me and it's getting hella played, but I mean this well everybody got a different hill shit. Shit. Yeah. 
shit. Other than that, man, I'm just. I don't think I got any more new releases. I just dropped fucking the Activist EP and that Mystic South too. And you know, I'm hoping that shit be my fucking breakthrough. I know the first Mystic South, a lot of folks got this shit. And you know, I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get all my shit pushed out there, man. I just want this money. I don't, the only thing I can tell my niggas around here in Atlanta, man, they be like, yo, you got some good ass shit. How come you ain't on? I don't know shit. All I want out of life is my fucking, my car, my dream car. 63 Impala, champagne, on them gold D's, triple gold. Switch it. That's all I want. After that, I don't care what car. Shit, I don't care what car, dog. I, just, I live out my damn car, shit. My dream car. I put a mailbox on the front of the damn hood and fucking I live out that shit. They have a kitchen in the trunk. I just, <laughs> that was just bullshit. But man, you know what I mean? Shit, man. Yeah, I'm not, like I said, I don't think I got no more shit. I might drop something before they get in, but man, I'm just trying to let all my shit soak in. Man, yeah. I'm gonna give a shout out to all my niggas fucking my music, man. Uh, Vic the Raider. Shout out my nigga Vic. Shout out my nigga LJ. Shout out my nigga James. Shout out my nigga goddamn Roy Robo. Shout out to my set, KOV, DJ JT, Moot. Goddamn Pink. Goddamn Raw. Everybody, man. Shit. Shout out to everybody. Shout, shout out to Daffy, boy. Shout out my nigga Daffy. Shit. Shout out to Black Money World. Shout out to goddamn Young Wing. Lil Shark. Shout out, man. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out my nigga goddamn Lay, Skunky Bruce, goddamn. Shout out everybody, man. I see y'all doing y'all thing. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Shit, keep on pushing that workout, dog. Keep on pushing that shit out, bro. Yeah, you gonna make it. Touch on one more thing. I'm touch on video games. I'm a big ass video game here. Y'all see my shit on Facebook, on Nintendo, and Chelsea before. GameCube, all that shit. Yeah, basically, I really don't know why video game companies now like doing this fucking. Okay, it's okay to. I'm, I'm gonna say it's okay to have advanced graphics, but for the shit to be the, the same constantly. Like man, this shit boring. Like back in the day, when I had my N when I, I still got my N sixty four, but when I fuck, when I was when I first had this shit, man, it it was so much variety, nigga. It was like Golden Eye, Perfect Dark, Ultimate Trilogy, Donkey Kong, fucking Bomberman, goddamn Castlevania. Like man, it was so much variety. But like all oh, this shit the same. This shit need to change, man. I don't think it's gonna change. Cause it's video game that got to the point where you can goddamn if we're gonna be in the video game. Probably next generation console next year or yeah after that we're gonna be strapping on fucking light bulbs and shit. We're gonna be running outside fucking shooting that shit that ain't even there. We're gonna be shooting that tree and they gonna simulate fucking real people or we're gonna be outside fighting a goddamn brick wall and it might simulate a nigga you fighting in your head. So it's that how fucking stupid it's in advance that I don't just don't like the shit. Man, shit fucking stupid. But anyway, I can't change that, but I'm gonna continue to play my shit I got. I'm gonna hold on to this shit. Straight up. Yeah, man. Shit, on that. Nobody had no more questions for my ass. So, I'm gonna wrap it up. Vic, I appreciate the question. Since you're the only nigga, the only real nigga that asks the real nigga questions. So, real nigga, real nigga, appreciate this shit. Appreciate everybody bumping my music, downloading my music. If you ain't got my music, hit me up or go to that pill. A lot of, oh yeah, one more thing. A lot of niggas then, I don't think a lot of folks got my uh, discography release. I know some I know some homeless on Facebook got it, but shit, I don't think everybody got it. If you ain't got it, you need to copy it. Because, I mean, it's a Mystic South 2 Deluxe Edition in there. That shit ain't on the web. It's on the, it's on the web on the fucking, like, the, the damn discography pack. But other than that, you need to cop that, man. Cop my music, because it's going to be... Whether if I leave there early before I blow up, is you still you still want to cop this shit? Straight up, shit. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs>